Welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we will look into the chapter called Rational Numbers. The given question is find the multiplicative inverse of the following and the given number is minus 13. So guys let us see how we can find out the multiplicative inverse of minus 13. Here question has given us this number minus 13. Here question has given us minus 13 and question is asking us to find out to find out question is asking us to find out the multiplicative inverse of minus 13 to find out the multiplicative inverse multiplicative inverse of minus 13 so guys let us see how we can find out the multiplicative inverse of minus 13 now before starting let us first of all try to understand what does it mean by multiplicative inverse if you look here onto the screen if you look here onto the screen you will see that i have posted the definition of multiplicative inverse now what does it mean by multiplicative inverse is a rational number which when multiplied to the given rational number we get one so the definition is very simple and very straightforward. Multiplicative inverse is a rational number which when multiplied to the given rational number we get 1. For example, if our rational number is A upon B. Now, if, if the given rational number is A upon B and it says that multiplicative inverse is a rational number. So this is our rational number. Multiplicative inverse is a rational number which when multiplied to the given rational number. Now this one a upon b is the given rational number. This a upon b is the given rational number. If we multiply another rational number, we will get 1. That means what we should multiply? We, if we multiply b upon a, then we will get 1. How it happens? Let's see. a upon b, a upon b into b upon a is equal to a b upon b b a or it, it is as good as a b so that is one how this one and this one cancels out this is what it does by multiplicative inverse now for example if if the given number is 2 by 3 then we can say that the multiplicative inverse of 2 upon 3 is 3 upon 2 just we need to reverse the thing if the denominator will become the numerator and the numerator will become the denominator so 2 upon 3 into 3 upon 2 is equal to 6 upon 6 which is 1 that means the multiplicative inverse of 2 upon 3 is 3 upon 2 this is what we get now for example if let us take one or two more examples if the given number is only 6 what is the multiplicative inverse of 6 only 6 means because the if only 6 means we can put it in a rational number wise p upon q that is 6 upon 1 so if, if the given number is only 6 we can represent the number as 6 upon 1 and the multiplicative inverse of 6 upon 1 will be 1 upon 6 this is what it will be similarly if we consider one more example if the given number is let's say minus 6 minus 6 now its multiplicative inverse will be let us first of all write it down in the form of minus 6 upon 1 and its multiplicative inverse ideally should be 1 upon minus 6 but guys we should not keep this negative sign in the denominator we should always put the negative sign to the numerator that means we can say that the multiplicative inverse of minus 6 upon 1 is minus 1 upon 6 instead of telling 1 upon minus 6 we can say minus 1 upon 6 this is what we need, we need to remember for the negative symbol for a negative number now after understanding the multiplicative inverse of some of the examples let us try to find out the multiplicative inverse of minus 13 now in the same way as we discussed about minus 6 in the similar way we will find out the multiplicative inverse of minus 13 now the question has given us minus 13 so minus 13 can be written as minus 13 upon 1 hence its multiplicative inverse can be written as 1 upon minus 13 so if we multiply we will get minus 13 upon minus 13 and we will get 1 now now look at this one this is the multiplicative inverse we are telling but we cannot put a negative sign we should not have a negative sign in the denominator so we can say that the multiplicative inverse of one uh, of minus 13 the multiplicative inverse of minus 13 will be instead of minus one instead of minus 1 by 13 we should simply say instead instead of uh, 1 upon minus 13 we should say we should say what we should say we should say it is minus 1 upon 13 so this is our answer guys we will say it is minus 1 
upon 13. We should not say that it is 1 upon minus 13. We should always say that it is minus 1 upon 13. Hope guys you understood this. This is very simple and very straightforward. But still if you have any questions or doubts, please reach out to me in the comment section of this video. Definitely I will get back to you once I see your comments. Guys, if you really like my videos, please subscribe and let your friends know. If you really like my videos, I would request you to kindly subscribe and also let your friends know. This will motivate me to create similar videos in the future. Thank you. Bye.